guys, so we just started this new job. You can see here, nice little alleyway. But wait till you see this basement, another super cramped one. So come down here, right here. Clearance is already pretty, pretty low. We have that room over there, as well as this back room. So super tiny, another like super shallow one. So this will be fun. Go so back on this side, you can see old brick wall separating these two rooms. As well as some pretty old insulation. As well as wall, you can see. This house maybe has had a few remodels in the past. But let's get another one. It's gonna be exciting. Can't wait to show you guys the rest. Here on the right side, this is gonna be our wheelbarrow path. So the saw cut and entry point is gonna be here on the right side. We have more space over here, so that's why we're doing it over here. So they marked out the window well. You can see right here, right here, you got the center mark right there. This is gonna be our entry point and how we get all the dirt and material out. We got cardboard ready, laid out, so we don't mess up any of this. And then we're gonna wheelbarrow it from here all the way down the street where we're gonna have our dumpster to put all the dirt in. This is looking to be a really exciting job. As you've seen below, older house. So this is gonna be a fun one to see it before and after. All right, first week down on the basement dig out over here. So you can see this right side I was talking about. This is gonna be our access point. You can see they already saw cut into this back room. They got a conveyor back there, all the tools laid out. Great progress so far, can't wait to show you the inside. But as I was saying, dirt comes out this way, put in a wheelbarrow, and then we're gonna wheel it down here to the dumpster where then it's gonna be taken off and then the dumpster will be brought back. So super solid little job we got going on here. And if I come around to the other side, I'll get up in the entrance, show you what's going on down there. All right, luckily on this house, we have two entrances. We usually never have this, which is awesome. So we have this side of the house as a door. So we can come and make it right down here. Super easy entrance. And boom. This. Nothing back here so far. But great progress so far. You can see all these old bricks they're tearing out, getting ready to excavate. Come back here. You can see they got rid of all the dirt so far. Making a little access way to the saw cut. Over here. Looking good. Got the camera set up. I got the laser out here, making sure everything's level. Back over here. Yeah, this is looking exciting. You can see they already got the quick creep up in here too. If I take a step in here. Boom. So this is a super one to talk you through because you can definitely see our process and play here. So since we had an opening already to get into the basement, you can see that the guys came in through here and then they're going to dig to that saw cut area to connect the access points. So usually on a normal job that we have, this is very rare. We usually don't have access to the basement already, especially if it's a crawl space. So they have to dig from the saw cut in, which is usually a little bit more brutal. It's more tight, more closed. But this is really nice because they can come in standing, work their way towards the access cut, which is awesome. So you can see here they're going to tunnel over there and then they're going to start their little staging area. And this is where we're just going to put all of our tools, anything that we need. We're going to have an area to fit a conveyor. So this is a very crucial little area that you want to get dug out first. That way you have mo more room to do stuff and get stuff done in this little area. So first order of operations on any one of our digouts is just making sure that we have an access area that we can fit stuff. So you can see here they were able to squeeze in the conveyor and this is going to help them to move a lot faster being able to just pump dirt out at this point. And then you can see they got their tools scattered around in here. This is really just the mission area for digouts. And then once this gets bigger, it gets faster, easier, stuff is good gets better and here in Denver we have really nice soil that kind of just it's a clay material so it just falls apart really nice in most areas and it's usually it tends to be a little bit softer still nice and hard but soft enough to just use a shovel I know on some jobs we've had to use some big jackhammers to really break some rocks free but this has been really nice so far nothing like that on this job it's an older home I, you can see in the walkthrough lots of old bricks I want to say this is like 1920s maybe 30s 
and so yeah this is a really fun dig Let's see if we find anything as well because on some of our jobs we've been lucky and found a few magazines a few old comic books so it's always exciting to see what we dig up as well So you can see from this angle, they've probably dug out already a good half of this little cross space section. And that's just really thanks to that conveyor and just digging that access path. They're able to move around now and it just gets easier. And like I said before, they have stuff to store stuff down here. It's also a security thing. So that way we don't, we're not leaving stuff outside. We can just lock it up with some plywood on the outside and a lock, call it good. And then I get, it got a little blown out right here. Got a fix that on the next time I'm over there make sure the camera's not facing any bright lights but yep you can see because usually on the crossbow you've seen it just there for a second how I had to crouch down and just kind of like shovel like that shoveling like that is super awkward so anytime that we can have something that just works in our favor we try to just maximize it as much as possible here we're coming back to that angle you can just see how open it is now and nice wall and walkable it's still a little bit tight if you were to jump you'd hit your head on a metal pipe Maybe need a tetanus shot after that, but way better than crawling, I'll tell you that. Because when I put these cameras up, I usually have to crawl around there and get in the corners, cobwebs, it's gross, not fun. Overall, for three guys on this for the first week, this is our little side crew that we have. They do our smaller jobs. When we have smaller digouts, all this stuff, these guys are beasts. We have JC on the shovel. He's an absolute unit. He's faster than a conveyor, honestly. Props to these guys, just three of them working hard getting all this out. All right, you can see coming up here, they're gonna do some demo work on this wall, which is always fun. Demoing is really fun as well when we do these. You'll see how much of a difference this makes at the end when you start breaking down walls in these basements. It's a whole new feel. It's like increases the square footage by like 10 times it feels like just because you can walk where a wall once was. So there you go, you can see that. And this was all one week's worth of work. They've made great progress. These guys are killing it. So I can't wait to see what they do next week. With that said, we're getting really close to the end of the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.